Hey everyone, I was just sitting in front of my computer running some numbers and I was thinking, everyone knows that the market right now is volatile and uncertain with inflation and rising interest rates, it's putting pressure on everyone. Uh, but before you give up on buying a home or selling your home, I wanna talk about a strategy that could just be a win-win in the right situation for everyone. I wanna look at buy-down strategies. The goal of this strategy is to maximize affordability for the buyer and give the buyer the ability to make an offer to a seller that's attractive and stands out from the competition. Now, normally a buyer has the ability to pay points and buy down their interest rate so that they have a lower monthly payment. But the seller can also buy down the interest rate on behalf of the buyer. Since mortgage rates are expected to rise steadily throughout 2022, this is a great way for the buyer to lock in at a rate now and protect themselves against future rate hikes. Now, in the right situation, this can also be a great strategy for the seller. As the housing market begins to slow down a bit, this is a great alternative to a price reduction in the right circumstance. So we're gonna take a look at an example right now. In the following example, we are going to take a look at a home that is listed for $400,000 now in scenario number one, the buyer is putting down 10% and the seller has agreed to a price reduction of $15,000. The seller's net profit would be $385,000 and in this transaction, the buyer is getting a 30 year fixed rate mortgage at 5.75% and the buyer's monthly payment is $2,380.62. Now, in scenario number two, the buyer is also putting down 10%. The list price is $400,000 and the buyer is going to offer full list price. So the buyer is going to pay the $400,000, but the seller is agreeing to buy down the interest rate at two points on behalf of the buyer. So the seller is going to pay $7,200 toward buying down that interest rate. In scenario number two, the seller is not reducing the price and is netting $392,800. That is an additional $7,800 as opposed to reducing the price for $15,000. So it's a win for the seller. Now let's look at the buyer's monthly payment. The seller is buying down the rate in scenario number two to 5% and the monthly payment is now $2,299.23. The buyer is going to save $81.39 every month in their payment. So it's a win for the buyer as well. And if you look, the savings over 15 years for the buyer with that reduced interest rate is $14,650. So pretty close to the $15,000 from a price reduction in scenario number one. So in scenario number two, we can see it's a win for the seller, a win for the buyer, and of course, a win for the agents as well. And just remember that these bona fide discount points have to be written correctly in the purchase contract. And also, we need to make sure that the appraisal is going to come in. The best thing to do is have your lender prepare a report with a video like this explaining the return on investment and how everyone can benefit from the buy down strategy. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Smith. I'm part of the pooling team with Homestar Financial. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at mike.smith at homestarfc.com.